Great job you've done. Great job you've done. A friend of mine for a long time. You know, years ago, he was looking for a place. Can I tell this story just quickly, if you mind? He was looking for a place, and they said, well, that sport's never going to make it. It's too violent. They just don't know how violent the American people are, do they? They, they never quite figured that out. No, they said, no, it'll never make it. There's nobody like this guy, I'm telling you. I always say it's a great sport without him. I don't know what they'd do. I don't know if it could — I don't know if anything would make it. He could do anything. He is so smart, so tough, so cunning. He's been a friend of mine for a long time. I've been a friend of his. But I gave him a place a long time ago. And all I know is, just like we have outside, we had lines. I said, what the hell's going on here, Dana? This place is packed, right? We were packed. We had thousands of people that couldn't get in. And I was so nice. I said, let's do it again, Dana, please. And we did it again and again and again. And it became the UFC, and he sold it, and has a big chunk of it. But he got $4 billion when he sold it. $4 billion. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, Dana. But he really is. He's an incredible guy. And, you know, he also loves his fighters. He wants to take care of his fighters, and he brought some of them along the best. But I want to introduce Dana White. Dana, please, stand up. And Dana brought along a few of his friends, and uh, these are not people you want to pick a fight with. Because under those beautiful suits are a lot of muscle, a lot of power, a lot of, a lot of genius for fighting and for other things. But a lot of genius under those suits. Because under those beautiful suits are a lot of muscle, a lot of power, a lot of, a lot of genius for fighting and for other things. But a lot of genius under those suits. A uh, few members of the UFC community. So here's a man who's been, he used to walk into that ring, and he still does, and he's uh, as good as there is in the world, number one in the world. Uh, you don't want to pick a fight with him at a bar. Let's say you had a fight, and you happen to meet Colby Covington. You say, what's your name? And he said, my name's Colby Covington. And, you know, the first time I saw Coving Covington and uh, Colby, he walks into the, the ring. Now, he wasn't fighting, but he walked in with that same hat that you're wearing. It said, keep America great. It says, make America. He, he doesn't care. As long as it has Trump on it someplace, he doesn't care. He doesn't discriminate. But this was the same day that we had our conservative reporter beat to hell by that wise guy who's now in big trouble for doing what he did. And then he walks in wearing the hat, right? Keep America great. And he wears the hat, and he's going like this, because this was a big story. You remember what they did to that guy conservative reporter, not a fighter. He wasn't a fighter. If — and it was 10 people against one. Now, if we had 10 people against that one, those 10 people would be in serious trouble. They said, what the hell? But I'd like to introduce Colby Covington. Great fighter. Great, great fighter. Incredible. He is a great fighter. Three months ago, I saw him fight a guy. He looked like uh, it would be impossible to beat. I never saw muscles. He had muscles on muscles on muscles. And Kobe's a very fit guy and, you know, fantastic. But he didn't look quite the same. It wasn't even a contest. It went a few rounds, and it was like, I couldn't believe what you did. He took him apart so easily. It was like uh, an easy day at the office. So you have to explain that to me someday, Colby. But we love you, man. You're with us, and we're with you. Another great, great champion. Another great champion, Henry Cejudo, who is one of the best in the world. And Henry, please stand. Please. Henry is. And you won the championship twice, right, Henry? Twice. He won it twice. He's, uh, don't mess with him. Don't mess with him. And his brother, Alonzo, is here. Alonzo Cruz. Thank you very much, Alonzo. Thank you. Thank you. And Alonzo doesn't mess with Henry. He learned that a long time ago. So one of the best fighters in the world, and he's got a tremendous fight coming up against, I guess, the number one rated pound-for-pound uh, -pound fighter, Justin Gaethy. Please, stand up, Justin.
Justin Gaethje, thank you. And you feel good about that fight? He said he's going to knock him out. Well, uh, we're going to be watching. It's right before the election, but I think I'm going to be watching, okay? I'll be watching. You better believe it. That's going to be an incredible fight. Good luck. Good luck, Justin. Great fighter.